Hi friends, it's Marta. Welcome back to Web the Pages. Today we'll be deciding together my June TBR. First of all, happy Friday month, everyone. I hope you've been having a wonderful month, even though we're only on the 4th of June. So the thing is, uh, even though the month has already started, I haven't really chosen a TBR, you know. I'm not one to choose TBRs monthly, to be honest. Um, I think of myself more as a mood reader. So whatever I'm feeling like reading, I will do so. But I've been wanting to try this TBR game for a long, long time, ever since my friend Rita came up with it. So Rita from Life Worth Reading, I will leave all her links down below, um, she came up with this really cool TBR game and I've been obsessed with her videos, I will also leave her latest one down below. Um, but the thing was, I didn't have um, I didn't have tarot cards, but I recently got this and I've been having so much fun with this, so I really wanted to try this TBR video, it was one of the first things that I wanted to try with this, so I honestly couldn't wait for a new month to come, you know. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do my homework, uh, so I'm gonna have Rita's prompts um, on the back of my phone so that I could check them, uh, but I think that I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. So before we jump right to the video and picking up the cards and picking up the books, I want to say right here that I want to read all queer books this month, so all of the books that I'm gonna read are gonna be queer. And if you know me, you already know that I do it this year round, but I thought this month was a great one to cautiously do so in all of my readings because sometimes books for work and books for whatever get in the way and I really want to stop, uh, pause and try to consciously choose my readings and this is why I'm doing this TBR video as well. And also because I started my month with a book that I didn't really enjoy that much and that was Bunk 57 by Penelope Douglas and I read until 113 pages I think and I just couldn't stand it anymore so I decided to DNF it, this was my second DNF of the year. So I really want June, the rest of June, to have wonderful books that I enjoy, hopefully. Okay, so let's start. Unfortunately, I don't have a phone stand, so I can't do all of those dynamics that you see people just shuffling the cards and everything, so I have to do it myself and you won't be able to see it, but I promise I'm not cheating, I'm not choosing the cards that I like most, so I think that's gonna be it. And I'm gonna do this. And the card that I got, King of Swords. Okay, so any king means reading a book that intimidates you, and I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't that hard to pick up a book for this category, and I'm gonna be reading Gideon the Ninth. But the thing is, I'm kind of those people that judges books by their covers, and I really like the cover of Gideon the Ninth, but based on the cover, I don't really think that I would enjoy the story, because it's, it's kind of scary, and also the synopsis of the book, I don't know, I've read it, and I've kind of understood it, but also kind of didn't, so the thing that makes me want to postpone this book is because it seems confusing to me and that's why I've been avoiding it and that's why I'm kind of intimidated by it but I can't go this month without reading it uh, it's a fantasy, it's a sapphic story so this month be it now we're gonna go to the second book I think that I'm only gonna pick four books for this month uh, we'll see how it goes I haven't been able to read a lot lately because of work and writing my thesis that's all I've been doing um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I also have a book on the way um, that I'm really excited to read. Uh, it doesn't really fit the rest of the books that I want to read this month, but we'll see how it goes. But I think that for this TBR video, I'm only going to choose four books. And my second card is Six of Pentacles. So any six means uh, a book that has been translated either to English if English is in the original language or to my native language if I'm not choosing English. Given my TBR look and I don't really have a lot of books that fit this category and still fit the kind of books that I want to read for this month, so I'm gonna go with Maurice by E.M. Forster. And this book was published in 1974 but it was first completed in 1914 but the author didn't want it to be released back then because he was afraid of what society might think and so he requested that this book was published after his death. From what I understood from the synopsis, this book follows Maurice and prompted by heartbreak, he decides to explore his own sexual identity against all society's expectations. I find this interesting. I'm just a little bit scared because lately I've been reading mostly contemporary books and this just doesn't quite fit, but I'm gonna give it a try and I'll let you know my thoughts about it anyway. Moving on, let's see what my third book will be. This is actually interesting because it's make me it's making me go search for books that I've been wanting to read for a long time but I just keep postponing them or books that I eventually added to my TBR but never pick them up again. And my third card, my third book is Five of Pentacles. 
So any five card means reading a five star prediction book. And this is really exciting because I do have a few that kind of fit in this category, but I decided to read Gear Breakers because when this book was about to come out, I was really excited to read it. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was loving it. And I remember a lot of my trusted friends giving it five stars. So I am excited to pick it up. I don't know much about it. In fact, I don't know much about any of the books that I've just stated right now. I, I do remember reading their synopsis, finding them interesting, adding to my TBR list, and that's it. Eventually, when I'm in the mood, I'll pick them up. But I know that this book follows two characters that are on either sides of a war. They're enemies, but eventually they will find a common cause, I think, and they will fight alongside, and eventually, yes, they will fall in love. Finally, my last card, meaning my last book. And I got nine of wands. So any nine card means reading a book in a genre that you don't usually read. And this was a hard pick because honestly, I only have one book that fits this category and that is All Boys Aren't Blue. Uh, I added this book to my TBR a long while ago when I was really interested in reading it. I admit that because it's not what I usually read that I've been postponing, but I've been wanting to read it for a long, long time and I think that it's really important that I do so. This book is a memoir written by a journalist um, that explores his childhood and adolescence. And this book covers topics such as gender identity, toxic masculinity, brotherhood, family, structural mar marginalization, constant and black joy. I'm sorry, I was just reading from the synopsis. Um, but yes, like I said, uh, it's the only book that I have on my TBR that fits um, the category that, and also the, the kind of books that I want to read this month. I am also a little bit intimidated by it. Also, this book could have been for the first category because, like I said, it's not what I usually read, but I am excited to do so. So like I said, I will only pick four cards and so therefore four books to read this month. But I just remembered that... I really, really want to try to read The Charm Offensive, uh, and this book was highly recommended by Philip on his social media. I remember that two weeks ago when I was in Lisbon uh, to go to the office, uh, I stayed with him and he talked a lot about this book. He was really excited to be reading it and now he just finished it and he really liked it. So you know what, I'm going to give it a try. Um, I know it's a book that just arrived to my TBR. I am sorry to all of the other books in my TBR, but I really, really want to do so. I understood it's a reality show for dating and one of the contestants doesn't really want to have anything with the other women in the show and he said he's interested in the producer of the show. So this sounds really, really fun and I think that I'm gonna love it. Also, this could go for the five-star prediction category, but I think that, you know what, I'm gonna leave this book on... A totally different category and if I can read it I can read it if I can't read it it's okay uh, and also besides that I'm also expecting a book in the mail like I told you I'm not gonna say what it is just yet if you want to know what it is please follow me on my Instagram I'll be sure to do an unboxing when I receive it uh, but I'm also really excited to read that book in specific um, it's not gonna fit exactly in the type of books that I want to read uh, in this month of June but if I have time I will get to it uh, as well so these are all the six books that I want to read in June. I hope I can do it. I hope you have a wonderful month as well. If you are reading anything special, please let in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!